Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and uh, today again we are gonna try new products and I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to try some of my favorite products in this video. I'm back with my Givenchy Active Mind Illuminating Primer Brightens and Revitalize Universal and this is my favorite primer if you ever watch any of my old videos. It doesn't feel like it is uh, made with silicon. It just blurs the imperfections on your face. And I don't know the ingredients about this we, uh, primer. So cannot say much about it. But this primer is one of the best primers on the market. But I just feel like it absorbs the excess oil also from your face. So I'm going to try one more time. Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I'm gonna try with it Cosmetics Brush. This is a very good foundation for dry skin. So today I'm feeling a little bit dry. Uh, so I think that's why this foundation is sitting beautifully and it didn't feel like it's very emollient today. So perfect. Scotch tape. I'm gonna apply concealer. And I'm using Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener. I'm setting my eyeshadow base with the Studio Fix Powder. I'm gonna start first with Saddle by MAC Eyeshadow as my first transition color. Second color I'm using desert sand now I'm going with Inglot eyeshadow 382 it's a matte bright pink fuchsia kind of shade and this specially color is going only on my crease and I'm using Sigma blending brush E25 I'm gonna go back with eyeshadow desert sand and going to blend a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go back with this color Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow smoke on the same brush again going only on my crease. Going back with my blending brush and just softening the edges. The eyeshadow smoke with my blending brush. I'm just going to blend the edges. Now I'm going to use Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Fireball Peach Base with the hint of iridescent look of pink and purples I'm gonna go back with eyeshadow smoke only on my outer V area and I'm actually creating a separate outer V like I'm dragging this color all the way up to here and now I'm just joining with the crease I'm gonna go back with my blending brush and going to blend the edges again and I just applied Makeup Geeks eyeshadow Morocco I'm mixing a little bit uh, Inglot 382 eyeshadow also and going to blend one more time I'm going to apply now Too Faced Glitter Glue Shadow Insurance so now we have this uh, shadow insurance on our brush also 
So the next product I'm going to apply. Ta-da! I'm using first time my Moon Dust Eyeshadow Palette by Urban Decay. I'm so excited. I'm going to use this eyeshadow elements, and it's a very pretty eyeshadow. If you try this, sometimes it looks like orange. Sometimes it looks like pink. I think you can see that how it changes the color. Tinted eye brightener by Bobbi Brown. It's very thin compared to another concealers. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder for baking. Especially with this kind of concealer, you need little bit more coverage, then the baking is the best idea. Let it sit for a few minutes and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Using my Smashbox Contour Palette and this cream eyeshadow. Again going back with my blending brush. I'm gonna use Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in color Sumutra. Sumutra. I'm gonna use eyeshadow Morocco. Going to use this uh, eyeshadow smoke, and now it's going only close to my lower lash line. I'm gonna use this 382 by Inglot eyeshadow and going to soft the edges of this brown color. I just feel that this needs a little bit more blending these uh, sides so I'm just blending again with 382 eyeshadow just a little bit I'm going to use now Lancome Paris art liner in color black I didn't apply my wing liner I just apply simple line and just join with this last line on my shadow Smashbox contour palette and this color it's the contour color and using my Melly brush Using my shader brush and the same contour color. I'm going to use my fingers to blend my contour. I'm going to use my bronzer now and I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Natural Powder, Natural One Bronzing Powder. I'm loving this Japanese brush for bronzing my face. It blends the contour also with the bronzer and moreover it just gives a very natural bronzer look. Now I'm gonna use the same brush with first time using Becca Mineral Blush in color Songbird. Looks like this. I showed in my in my haul video and if you missed it I'm gonna link that haul video down below I bought a lot of very interesting stuff so please just check that video out I don't use my blushes on my cheekbone I just keep it a little bit far from my cheeks just a little bit 
Love this color. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna go back with my powder brush. I didn't use any powder, so I don't have any powder brush right now out. But I'm gonna use my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. And I'm gonna just like calm down my blushes and bronzers. And just lightly going to dust on my face and using my Sephora 59 brush. And I love this brush for this reason. It applies uh, powder almost like invisibly. Applying my Roller Lash Mascara. I love this mascara for my lower lash line. Charlotte Tilbury highlight and my favorite brush, Japanese highlight brush 915. Always forget to use this, but this is my favorite highlighter brush. I'm going to use a little bit more Lorac. Little bit more. I'm going to use Lorac. Starlight Illuminating Highlighter and I'm going to mix with this Charlotte Tilbury um, Highlighter I'm gonna go back with my brush and just going to blend everything I'm gonna use Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in color Chem Trail going on my inner corners I'm gonna use MAC lip liner in color mahogany it's a dark color lip liner Alban Decay vintage lipsticks in color smog cream these are metallic lips they're just new release by Urban Decay. It's a very pretty color. Let's see if it's going to work with this look or no. I don't like it. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna remove. I just a uh, little bit removed my lipstick. And now I'm gonna try this color. And this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a sunset strip lip gloss. This is looking much better. Here's the final look. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. And my giveaway is coming soon. In my giveaway, I'm trying to get iPhone 7 Plus for one of my giveaway so please stay tuned and i'll see you on my next video till then bye